Hey everyone, Fandrax here with what's going to be the first in a new small series of videos that I'll be publishing over the next few months. Basically, I've had the idea to provide updates about my ongoing DDO adventures in video form for a while now, and this is the culmination of that idea. I'm gonna show some questing and general gameplay as I meander around. I'm going to compose all my thoughts for an ultimate final video in the future, so consider these updates like, uh, like journal entries or, or yeah, journal entries so that you might better follow along for the ride uh, as it happens. I'll also be interested to see if any of my thoughts or opinions change between my releasing of these updates and the final video. So, selfishly to some extent, these updates are for me. <laughs> now, ironically, I haven't had the chance to play as much as I would have liked over the past nine months since I released my original video about rediscovering DDO. <laughs> Uh, I've, I've just had a lot going on. I was on a rig for a hot minute that it just didn't seem to run DDO all that well, which was kind of nuts because it ran other, more pressing games just fine. Uh, there was one weekend where I planned to play the game for like 20 hours straight. I had literally nothing else to do, which is an extreme rarity for me. I want to say it was around Easter, so this was a while ago, and the servers went down for the entire weekend. I, it's, it, it's just all been a little bit weird, uh, but I am happy to report that we're currently sitting at level 9, still a pure druid, and still having a hell of a lot of fun. Really, I'm getting all the nostalgic enjoyment that I had hoped to find uh, when I first set out on this adventure. Speaking of druids, my animal companion does not have a name. I noticed that literally the other night, a few nights before recording this, so how about we run a little contest? Leave your best name in the comments below, and I'll choose my favorite and feature it in the next video, along with actually using it in-game. Keep it clean. Keep it monetized. How about that? Well, to use a YouTube term, let's keep it monetized. Personally, I think Wolf is a pretty good name, but it also doesn't make all that much sense. What I think I'm enjoying most about DDO is just how much it feels like D&D. And the funny thing is, that isn't even really the case as far as the gameplay is concerned. I mean, MMO real-time gameplay is pretty different from the historically turn-based threads that any edition of D&D wears, and that is predominantly the case in DDO. But the vibe is just so completely Dungeons & Dragons. The way you have to memorize spells, the narrative style of nearly each and every quest grants the player something to be grabbed by when an adventure starts, and, and even the way you can call on hirelings to aid you in said adventures all do a great job of bringing the tabletop atmosphere to this game. Hirelings were very much more a thing in early, early editions of D&D, just if, if that seems a little weird. A little odd to you, but yes, the, you could do hirelings at one point as far as like NPCs uh, back in earlier editions. I know I mentioned some of these aspects in my original video, but with some more time to really digest and appreciate them, you start to come to realize just how much it actually does for the game. It grounds DDO in a history in a way that I think a lot of other MMOs struggle with. Even something like World of Warcraft, at least to me, doesn't feel all that connected to the Warcraft RTS games that birthed it. DDO, at least for now, has managed to remove that sort of disconnect, and I find that seriously impressive. I've also been surprised by just how much I'm liking Eberron. I had knowledge and awareness of what the world was, but I had never actually delved more deeply into it. It's just flatly cool, and I think I'm a lot more interested in it now than I would have been when I was a kid. In recent years, I've definitely come to appreciate futuristic and steampunk-style worlds more, and the way that Eberron mixes traditional fantasy elements with technological aspects feels almost seamless. Like, it, it doesn't feel odd that I'm playing as a nature-loving druid fighting robotic dogs in the slightest. I'm excited to move more into some of the other worlds. There is some Forgotten Realms and Greyhawk represented here, so it'll be interesting to see how those places translate. One thing that is less than awesome is the servers. Holy Jesus, they are outright terrible. You are liable at the drop of a hat to just start moonwalking while you're stuck in time. I actually thought it was an issue on my end at first, but after playing the game on two different systems and two different networks, much with the same issues, I can safely say these servers might actually be straight out of 2005 when the game was released. I'm willing to make some concessions on account of the fact that this is nearly a 20-year-old game, but yeah, it's... it's Pretty brutal and kind of ridiculous, if we're being real. Like, there are obviously going to be some inherent limitations when working with an older game such as this, sure, but unless I'm totally spacing on some aspect of game dev and hosting, having reliable servers doesn't feel like it should be one of them. 
For the next video, I think I'll try to get a bit deeper into crafting. It's a system that I typically don't spend much time becoming familiar with, even if it's in practically every MMO, and I believe it could be used to upgrade items and whatnot, so color me interested. There's also a bunch of collectible items that can be traded uh, to select vendors for goodies, and I really just need to sit down one day and sort through all that, even if just so the stuff can stop clogging up my inventory. Good God. I think that's where I'll leave this one. If you have any ideas for future updates, please let me know. If you're a DDO aficionado and have any advice or thoughts about what I should be doing or looking out for as I play, don't hesitate to leave that in the comments as well. Uh, stay well, and I will see you all in the next video.